In this video, I'll show you a different way to warm up or enhance colors with Affinity Photo. Using this technique, I'll demonstrate how to warm up the colors of this flower and enhance the color of this model's hair. Let's get started. I'll be using Affinity Photo version 2.0.4. This is our first image. I'll enhance its colors to create a warm, glowing effect. The process is simple. For each color to enhance, I'll create a fill layer and set it to that color by sampling it directly from the image. Then I'll change the fill layer's blend mode to overlay and apply an empty mask to render the layer invisible. Then using a gray brush, I'll paint in the effect little by little until I get the result I desire. It's straightforward as you'll see. The first thing is to create a new fill layer by selecting new fill layer from the layer menu. Let's drag it beneath the background layer so we can see the image. Leaving the fill layer selected, let's pick the first color to enhance. I'll start with this light purple color here. Selecting the color picking tool, I'll then click on the color in the photo. Note that you can use any color you like. It doesn't have to be a color in the photo. Experiment to see what works best for your image. I'll drag the fill layer up above the background layer again, and you can see its color has been set to a light purple. I'll change its blend mode to overlay. That looks garish, but not to worry. Now we'll apply an empty mask to the fill layer. Clicking on the mask icon in the layers panel, select empty mask from the drop down menu. The garish effect is gone since the empty mask has made the fill layer invisible. Let's expand the layer so we can see the empty mask underneath by clicking on this little greater than sign. Make sure the empty mask is selected by clicking on it. All our painting will be done on the mask. Select the paintbrush tool. Now we need to select the type of brush we're going to use. Click on the brushes tab over here in the layers panel. I'll use a solid brush because I don't want a grainy effect. From the drop down, I'll select masking. I want a brush with a soft edge. Those are the ones with a fuzzy outline. I'll choose this one. Select the layers tab so we can see all our layers. I'm going to reduce the opacity and flow of the brush to about 25% and make sure hardness is zero. I'll set the color of the brush to a light gray by clicking over in this area here. By using a gray color, I'll allow some of the fill layer to show through. Lighter colors allow more of the fill layer to show through, while darker colors allow less. The low opacity and flow of the brush will also allow us to add in the effect we're after little by little. If you'd like to learn more about masks, I have a video that covers them in detail. I'll leave a link to it in the description for this video. I'll adjust the size of the brush using the square bracket keys and begin painting on the petals. Or are they ray flowers? Anyway, let's start painting. I'll paint on the petals and around the yellow center. If we turn the fill layer off and on, we can see that the colors are much warmer already. I think that's fine as is. Next, I want to bring out the dark purple veins of the petals. So I'll add a new fill layer by selecting new fill layer from the layer menu. Let's drag it beneath the background layer so we can see the image again. Using the color picker tool, I'll select the dark purple color from one of the ray flowers or petals. This color looks good, so I'll click the mouse to select it. Let's drag the new fill layer up to the top and set its blend mode to overlay and then apply an empty mask. I'll expand the new layer by clicking the small greater than sign and make sure the mask is selected. 
I'll select a paintbrush tool and start painting on the ray flowers. That's a little strong, so I'll change the brush color to a darker gray. The darker gray will allow less of the fill layer to show through the empty mask. You can see the veins are becoming more distinct. I'll reduce the brush size using the square bracket keys and paint around the center. That looks good to me. Let's turn the layer off and on to see the effect. The veins are a little more prominent and the colors are warmer still. We're almost done. I want to enhance the yellow in the center, so I'll add a new fill layer and drag it beneath the background layer. Using the color picker tool, I'll select this yellow color here that's in between the darker and lighter shades of yellow. I'll drag the new fill layer back to the top and set the blend mode to overlay and apply an empty mask. Making sure the mask is selected, I'll select the paintbrush tool and begin painting over the yellow areas in the center of the flower. Let's turn the layer off and on to see what effect we're having. That looks good. I want to add a little bit of a yellow hue to the rest of the flower, so I'll increase the brush size using the bracket keys and paint a little around the center, adding a warm yellow glow. Let's check the effect by turning the layer off and on again. That has a nice warm glow. Let's see the difference we've made. Holding down the shift key, I'll select the first and last layers we added. Now I'll turn everything off and on so you can see the change. Quite a difference. You can continue to make adjustments to each fill layer by painting on its mask, changing its opacity, and even its blend mode. You can also adjust the color of the fill layer just make sure the gradient tool or flood fill tool is selected before you do that. Here's another photo. I'll quickly demonstrate how the same technique can be used to enhance the model's hair. I'll create a new fill layer. I'll sample a color of her hair, right about here. I'll set the blend mode and apply an empty mask. I'll select the paintbrush tool and make sure flow and opacity are set to about 25% and hardness is zero. I'll start painting on her hair with a light gray brush. Let's turn the fill layer on and off, and you can see how the color has been enhanced. Now I'll bring out the highlights a little more. I'll create a new fill layer for that. Select the color picker tool and use this color here.
I'll paint on her hair. Turning the fill layer off and on, you can see the effect it's had. Let's select both fill layers by holding down the shift key and turn them both off and on. That's quite a difference and it looks perfectly natural. Consider this technique another tool in your toolbox. If you can't get the result you're after using traditional means like curves, HSL, etc. Give this technique a try. Thank you for watching.